This is a 400 volt fuse as you can find in a battery pack. Its function is to make sure the battery is safe in a short circuit scenario. Welcome to our second vlog today. We're going to talk about safety and not only about fuses and conventional safety, we're going to talk specifically about functional safety. So what is functional safety? This fuse, for example, it doesn't have electronics or software. It's, it's a device which gets heated in a short circuit and opens, you know, fuses from many other different applications and there's no software you can get wrong or no electronics that can go wrong in this fuse. However, with uh, battery management systems in electric vehicles, there are a lot of electronics and software uh, in these devices. And functional safety is a topic that deals with prevention of hazards that can occur due to malfunction of such electronic and software. In other words, if something goes wrong in your software and that can be dangerous, that is a topic which you have to address uh, in functional safety. So how do you do that? How do you make sure nothing can ever go wrong um, in the early days of electronic control units in cars, uh, people started to worry and, about this and they came, up, they came up with a standard, a standard approach to this, which is called ISO 26262 and it deals with how to make functional safety work and how to judge it. So actually what they came up with is quite interesting. They came up with a definition of functional safety and they did it based on risk. So what we're trying to do is avoid unreasonable level of risk know your level of risk and make it as small as possible. So what does it mean in the context of BMS, battery management systems? One of the classic things is we have a, a main contactor which we have to switch off the battery in case it gets too hot or the voltage gets too high. That part is controlled by electronics and software and we better make sure that it's controlled correctly at the right time and reliably. So for that, uh, at Munich Electrification, we follow a functional safety process which covers system engineering, software engineering, and hardware engineering. There are a bunch of things that have to be considered. For example, a safe and reproducible software development process, software unit testing, line coverage, software design, software documentation, all of these kind of things to make sure your software is just doing what it's supposed to do. On the hardware side, there's, there's a thing we call FMEA or DFMEA, where we really go through each and every part of the design, think about <laughs> what can go wrong, because every part will go wrong if you operate it for billions of hours. There's a, a non-zero likelihood a part can fail. So we analyze how does it fail, what is the effect of the failure, and how does it affect the overall safety. And by doing so, we can guarantee that uh, batteries and battery management systems are in fact safe, and that not only these fuses and passive devices perform their job, but also the electronics and the software uh, guarantee a shutdown of the battery if needed. Thank you very much for your attention and see you next time.